Zero! And we're back. Is that so? Yep. Back so. here. Start of uh, Loser's Quarter. Loser's Quarter. That's right. Um, had to quickly start OBS, or restart OBS, I should say. Uh, just sort of crash. Uh, we are back now. Uh, so far, very even, very high percents, very uh, very volatile right now. We've got Huggles and Smooth versus Carbon Copy and Oats. Players that I am not familiar with. You ever seen these guys? I have not. I have not seen. Well, Carbon Copy and Oats have been up here a couple times today. Okay. Um, I admittedly was not paying attention to their early match. Um, but so far, it looks like uh, Carbon Copy and Oats have been pretty well, actually. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Smooth kind of commanding presence here with Violet. Absolutely. Very Holy strong spacing stock. game. I actually thought that Rapid Jab was going to go unpunished, but he got there in the end. Okay, Sonora says, you're all done. <laughs> With his dash tag. Finish off uh, his first stock there. Hardfire, arguably one of the best projectiles in the game, but we actually ran out of Hellwind on that up so that our second blade did not come out, and he died. Yeah, it's tough. Um, Robin, a character with... Uh, any number of uh, <laughs> weaknesses, to be frank with you. Is he a really cool that, character? That, yes, very cool character. Love Robin. Probably the only Fire Emblem character that truly takes advantage of all the uh, classic yeah, the Fire Emblem weapons. Fire yeah, Emblem, got, yeah. The, got the tomes, got the Levin Sword. Definitely my favorite part of Robin is Hellfire. Uh, Hellfire really just opens up your entire combo tree if it's someone that's hit by it. Uh, they're essentially just locked in the place. Free for you to do whatever you want. Um, we've seen some really cool uh, arc fire ladders where you can hit arc fire into yeah. arc fire into arc yeah. fire. Uh, really hard to pull off, but really cool. Combo. I've always been curious, which one is uh, the stronger move? PK fire or arc fire? Uh, in terms of this game, definitely arc fire. I think our Hellfire. Or Hellfire, yes. Yeah, Hellfire yeah, is. Uh, Definitely the stronger projectile in our opinion. Um, it locks it down for so much longer, it combos into itself, uh, so you can hit them with it over and over again. Um, it's unfortunately just not as good of a character. Uh, that's sort of the main problem. Alright, we got a carbon copy, gonna have to fend off a 2v1 here. With two stops can do on Violet, no less. Yeah, not looking good, but Huggles and Smooth are both at high percent, so. He can recover here, get a footing, okay. Waits out the neutral air. He's gonna recover, but it's gonna take damage in the process. Sidestep the forward smash, not quite the second forward smash. Okay, oh, closed okay. out one. If he can close out Hugs real quick. Oh, oh not gonna okay. get caught by that tipper forward I thought, air. I thought they were gonna live for a second there after that, but nope. Gonna fly to the blast zone, that's gonna be our game one. This is actually just a Fire Emblem team. I just realized that they are both uh, the strategists of their game. Uh, both the protagonists are like the main character of their games. Um, Very true. Sort of the player character. And uh, that's pretty cool, actually. I didn't even realize that we were going for a theme here with these two characters. Yep. Love them or hate them. Fire Emblem characters are here to stay, my friends. So. Well, it's my favorite game series of all time. Uh, so I'm definitely always happy to see more Fire Emblem characters in Smash. What do you think of, uh, we probably already talked about this, but the newest one, Engage, 
Engage, I, Engage is fun. Uh, I think I think Three Houses was better. I think Three yeah. Houses was a uh, was sort of stepping back in the right direction. Yeah. Um, but I, w I won't say that Engage was bad or not fun to play. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it was also really kind of cool to get those throwback characters uh, yep. in terms of the rings. Um, so, as someone who's played every single Fire Emblem game, it's very nostalgic for me. Yeah, it's kind of, it was kind of like a fan service game <laughs> yeah, exactly. to some extent. Exactly. Um, I do wish we move away a little bit from like the heavy anime sort yeah. of influences. Uh, we can kind of go back to like the Sacred Stone style of lighting. Mm -hmm. Uh, very very cheesy plot, kind of yeah, overall, exactly. admittedly. But you know, it's not cheesy. It's, it's, uh, What's that? At no, it's not. That man is gonna chunk you with any hit he hits you with. But he's gonna fly off the top before that can happen. Oh, the double down air kills. He actually killed his own teammate with that down air. Sure did. He says, "I'm on my own team now, and you're all the enemy." My man was feeling himself and just could not resist. <laughs> But, uh, Smooth sitting at a healthy 27% here. This Violet just seems like a menace in this 2v2 today. Absolutely. Violet is honestly a much stronger character than initially thought. Uh, whenever MK Leo could throw, we kind of started to understand, like, the strength of how good a character is. Yeah, if you can, uh, frame all the aerials, get your combos right. Uh, can really shine. Obviously, we've seen Leo's success, but smoothly making a uh, final looking pretty sick right here himself. Robin definitely running low on her meters though. Elwind is low, Hellfire is low, Levitor is low, but now it's all recharged. So this yep. Perfect time to lose that stock. We're gonna refresh on all that. Let's uh, maybe take a quick look at the stocks here. Uh, this might be a game we see our first share stock of the stream on. Who knows for sure, but it's kind of leading in that direction. That limit break finally taking the first stock off the pilot. You know, I've actually not seen Robin go for down a single time yet. Uh, yeah, kind of a risky move to use powerful command in, grab. in a two for two. Uh, but definitely useful when you're in situations where you're at a high percent to recover that HP back. Yep. It's got a decent lateral range as well. Also very comparable in doubles. They're stuck in your grab for so long. Uh, your double partner can definitely take advantage of that. Uh, but I have not seen the Robin uh, even attempt to go for it without the yet. Everyone on last stock. Huggles is a little high percent, but nothing they can't manage. A little bit of teamwork. Definitely, if you're carbon copy and O's, we need to focus on Huggles. Huggles, we gotta take that stock as fast as possible because they're at a high percent. Uh, but it seems like we have Violet in a really dangerous red shot position here. We are racking up the damage on her. What a view. Yeah. Huh? No, I can hear you. It's um, I I get tired of holding the mic like this. Oh you yeah. You know, I gotta hold yeah, it yeah. really, really yeah, close to my face. Yeah. Um. Oh, I just tasted it. That was not good. Okay. All right, we're in a one v one scenario actually. Yeah. Uh, Cloud definitely the better character, but in this okay. nice trap scenario against Robin with Hellfire, it's really hard for yeah, Cloud to get off the really ledge. Really to get back on the stage here. Oh, and the Eleven Sword's gonna come out there with the up air. I thought missing the Hellfire on the ledge there might might hurt them, but they were able to cover that jump nicely. They were ready. And Huggles and smooth. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, best of three. Yeah, right, let's see if uh, Huggles and smooth. Can Close us out with a. Uh, oh wait, are they done? They are. Yeah. Oh, they are. That was okay. the best of three. Never mind.